Today, let's talk about fighting the invaders. We've talked with our expert, Dr. Tizard, about bacteria and viruses. Remember, they're all over us, inside us, and usually don't bother us, but sometimes they're really bad and they invade or attack us. I don't want to be sick all the time. I bet you don't either. So how do we fight the invaders? I have a lot of questions for our expert, Dr. Tizard. You know what I wonder? How are we even alive? Think about it. We have trillions of bacteria and viruses all over us. The bad guys, the pathogens, attack us a lot. How did we survive that? Howdy again, Dr. Gizzard. Howdy, Vince. So I need to ask you a few questions. Seriously, why are we not dead? Just eaten alive by all these bad bacteria and viruses, the pathogens. Well, we have very, very effective defenses that can capture and kill invading viruses and bacteria when they invade the body. And not only that, our defenses are smart. The first time you're invaded by a particular bacterium or virus, your body reacts rather slowly, just like a sluggish defense in a football game. But when the invader returns a second time, your body is ready for it. It has learned and responds much faster and much more efficiently each time the invader returns. So let's look, for example, at babies uh, compared to kids in middle school. Babies tend to get sick more often because their defensive lines, that's their immune system, are just learning how to play, or in our case, just learning how to protect. Everything is new. But middle school kids, their immune systems have already seen lots of pathogens and learned how to fight them off. Do we always fight the invaders the same way? No, we don't. Bacteria and viruses behave differently in the body, and as a result, we have different ways of fighting them off. Bacteria live outside cells. Viruses live inside cells. So it makes perfect sense that our body has to fight them in different ways because they live in different places. For example, we fight viruses by killing virus-infected cells. When the cell dies, the virus dies. Once all the virus-infected cells are destroyed, then you're free of the disease. But what is really important is that every time your body successfully fights off an invading virus, it remembers the experience. This memory is called immunity. Immunity? So how long does this memory or immunity last? Well, we're never sure. It varies. It can last for many years in some cases. In other cases, it can last for just a few months. It depends on the individual and it depends on the virus. It could last for your entire lifetime. So let me ask you this. Why do some people get sick from pathogens and recover easily, but other people get sick and die? Well, we're all different, aren't we? And our immune systems are different as well. Some of us have very strong immune systems. Some of us have much weaker immune systems. Some of us, strange as it sounds, are better at fighting off certain pathogens. Some people are just unlucky. They might have been born with a weak immune system, they might have had a disease or treatment that actually damaged their immune systems. There are a lot of reasons that would cause your immune system to not work well. School-age kids have some of the best immune systems out there just because of their age. Ha, huh. so you and me were not so lucky? Well, remember we talked about babies and how they get sick a lot. That's because their immune systems haven't learned much yet. Old people's immune systems are old. Their body systems don't work as well as they did when they were in their prime. Now, you're not old, Vince. You're younger than me. But it's school-age kids that are in their prime with typically very healthy immune systems, busy fighting off the invaders. We've been talking a bit about vaccines, so here's a question for you. 
Do school-age kids need vaccinations? Yes. I highly recommend vaccinations for serious diseases such as tetanus or COVID-19, the virus that's causing such problems in our world today. But if kids have such great immune systems, why bother? Well, first of all, remember immunity. The first time kids get this, it's possible for them to get sick. A few of them might get really sick. The second reason is that if you have it, then you can spread it to other people. You can spread it to people who don't have strong immune systems, old people, and people whose immune systems don't work well. Thus, vaccines will help kids fight off the disease, usually without getting sick. So, Dr. Jazard, the immunology expert, says get the vaccination for COVID to help fight off the invaders. Yes. I say, get the vaccine, please. So there you have it. We have amazing immune systems that work like crazy to fight off the invaders, but they need time to learn immunity. So I'm getting my vaccination. I'll see you next time.